Welcome to Two Point Games, my name is Mobicus. After putting so many hours in the Anthem, I felt like sharing my opinions of the game, as they seem to differ from what I typically see when Anthem is brought up. Some things I like about looter shooters are that I can log on, play for about an hour or two at a time, and feel like I make progression. I also like loot, like who doesn't? I enjoy the feeling of getting better, whether it's myself or the character and taking on bigger enemies that were once too powerful for me when I started. I love finding an enemy that annihilates me from the beginning, then coming back later when I'm more powerful and giving it the business. I have put a lot of time into Anthem, and I am currently grinding away through the endgame to get my builds the way I want them. I also want to preface this with these are all my impressions of the game. Let's start off by addressing the elephant in the room. Bugs. And no, I don't mean the scar. The game at launch, even before launch, in the demo, there were a good amount of bugs that do ruin the experience when you get them. For example, the game crashing or kicking you out to the menu is frustrating. However, I really believe that they will fix these issues given time. So many games like this one have similar launch issues, which do end up getting worked out eventually. I gotta say, the start of Anthem is amazing. While you're going through the story and doing the side missions and contracts, the game feels really fun. The core gameplay loop is something that you'd be hard pressed in finding elsewhere. The flying that enables you to traverse the map feels really well done. It almost feels natural despite being something that you normally wouldn't be able to do in other games of the same type. The combat is also something that feels really good. It has the basic third person shooting mechanics with the gunplay but also has abilities that recharge super fast and are really satisfying to use. Combining the interesting combat with the maneuverability you get from flying and you get a pretty fun combat loop of what would appear to be just another looter shooter. One of the most unique elements of combat in Anthem is the synergy of the different javelins. Each javelin feels unique as well and serve a different purpose. Some of the most fun of the game can be found with working together with your fellow javelins and taking out massive amounts of enemies at once with the combo and detonation system. You can use a primer to put a status effect on an enemy that can then be detonated by either your other ability that happens to be a detonator or another javelin that has a detonator ability. A successful detonation will cause a massive explosion and the word combo will appear. Seeing combo appear is way more satisfying than you would initially think it is. The idea behind loot is that as you play you will get drops from enemies and chests that could potentially better or progress your javelin. These drops can then be used on other missions or world events. Once you use an item or ability enough, you gain the blueprint, allowing you to craft the item. Crafting the item is important because it allows you to chase the random inscriptions or perks that are attached on each piece of weapon or gear that you can use. This means that the item itself is not super useful, but the inscriptions are how you min-match your build. A common misconception that I see with how people are viewing the drops is that you need to get more drops to get the inscriptions that you want for an item. In reality, you just need, need to be able to craft the item, which enables you to chase the rules much quicker and easier. Item drops are important for initially getting all the items in the loot pool, but not so important for min-matching your build. Of course, this also means that you should stockpile your crafting materials until you're ready to chase rules for a specific piece of gear. The items that you can pay for are all purely cosmetic. Some of these items include new javelin armor, new textures that you can apply to your javelin, and new vinyls that you can use to further customize the appearance of your javelin. The store that you can buy these from refreshes every few days, giving you more choices. The best feature of these items is that you can actually buy all of it using the in-game currency, which are the coins. Coins are awarded for completing activities and challenges. Early on, most of your coins will come from various challenges that you complete as you play. However, Strongholds still award a decent amount as well as other activities. Couple this with the Alliance feature, and coins are rarely an issue. The Alliance feature is a way to encourage friends to play Anthem as the coin pool increases with each friend that you have that plays. At the end of each week, any coins that were earned in the Alliance is paid out, which is also a nice bonus. Anthem's endgame, as it currently stands, is three legendary contracts a day that somewhat vary, repeatable strongholds and dungeons, and free play world events. 
it's pretty obvious that there isn't a lot of variety, or even a lot of unique experience to have with the content itself, at least at launch. Especially with only having three different strongholds, which is where you would go for the most challenge and loot variety. However, the majority of the endgame revolves around chasing the best inscription rules for the different pieces of gear and weapons that you have. I do believe that as more content is rolled out in the form of missions, contracts, strongholds, or cataclysms, the more replayable the content will be. Combining the engaging combat loot and anthem, along with the ever-changing cosmetics, I'm really enjoying my time with this particular looter shooter. Running contracts and strongholds with a good group is some of the most fun you can have with this game. Thanks for watching, Free Answers, and remember, strong alone, stronger together.